Hey, James Engelman here. We're gonna cover shooting off of a bench again. And the way I teach is I wanna have the parity or I want basically the gun to react the same off a bench as it does from a prone position. Uh, at this shoot house, we have windows underneath here that allow us to go prone. That's why I'm pointing down here. Um, we're gonna run a bipod just like we did on Will in a Hunt. And then we're gonna run a rear shooting bag like this one here. Uh, that we have at Barber Creek. I call this the soda can grip with your thumb in the center that allows us to get a really good squeeze and it, it allows us to raise the back of the stock. I can shoot it 100 yards and I can allow it to go to 1,000 yards. The other thing about a bag squeeze is make sure you're squeezing it solid so it doesn't dip during the process of the recoil. All right, real quick, when it comes to shooting off of a bench, again, to have parity with prone shooting, Make sure that you're not pocket shooting. Don't put the stock here. Don't put your body all crooked because when you pull the trigger like this, this is the way we were taught by the way, is the right hand shooter, the stock is gonna kick to the right during the recoil process and the barrel to the left and you'll have a hard time seeing your hits. What I like to teach is put your rear end directly under the butt stock and I wanna lean into it as much as possible. See that bipod leg, see how much it's bending forward? That's called a preload. So when this gun fires, it literally moves about that much and my upper body mass then pushes it right back in the battery or into target so I can see it. And the stock is literally sitting right here on center peck, not pocket. My shoulders are square. So watch this real quick. I'm just gonna shoot at 600 yards, so not a far shot but watch real quick while I shoot. First, I'm gonna shoot my way. So let's watch the gun and we'll see how it tracks. My head's vertical. Look how much I'm leaning into the gun. So here we go. So I saw everything perfectly. I saw the impact. Didn't see the trace because it's early morning. Now I'm gonna shoot it the old fashioned way, all right? So I'm gonna pretend I got that weird bench that everybody does with the T. I'm gonna angle my body and I'm gonna shoot at the same target and I'm deep into my pocket. Level looks good. The barrel literally moved about that many targets over so I would have never seen my hit. I actually didn't see my hit. So again, what I wanna do is when I'm shooting at long range, or actually any range, I want my shoulders square towards the target. I want my head as vertical as possible. I wanna lean into the gun and put that butt stock on center peck, shoulder square towards the target, I'll see all my hits. Um, the other thing is when you're shooting, do not let go of the trigger, hold the trigger for one full second after the shot, that guarantees all trigger problems are gone. So watch me again, I'm gonna shoot and holding the trigger. Okay. So hopefully you enjoyed that tip. Again, shooting from the bench, having parity with shooting from the prone, using a bipod and a rear squeeze bag, just like we hunt. Thanks for joining us. Howdy everybody, Keith Warren here for Barber Creek, America's premier long range hunting and shooting school. Barber Creek is one of America's top long range instructors and life-size animal targets out to a thousand yards. Enjoy a climate controlled classroom and shoot house, luxurious lodging and four course meals as you train with fellow outdoorsmen. Our level two master course puts you in real hunting positions off a tripod, bipod, and backpacks. With 25 life-size animal targets from 340 yards out to 1,670 yards on six stations. You'll become confident shooting at angles, reading wind and terrain, and shooting across valleys. When that once-in-a-lifetime shot only comes once, you can't afford to miss. Contact Barber Creek at 334-845-0000.